and a warning tonight for travelers heading to Mexico over the holiday weekend. Disappearances and armed attacks are on the rise in northern Sonora, Mexico, and it doesn't seem to be letting up as we approach the 4th of July tomorrow. It's a holiday that usually sees a lot of Arizonans head south to the U.S.-Mexico border, and News 4 Tucson's Jafet Serrato is live at the Consulate of Mexico on Tucson's east side. Jafet, what more can you tell us on this situation? Sean and Monica, Mexican nationals believe authorities can't keep up with all the violence that's going on in Sonora, Mexico. The violence has gone so bad over there that even some tourists have been attacked. I think we are overwhelmed. The authorities are overwhelmed in their tasks to provide security to the people, to the civilians, to the people in general. It was on June 18th when Damian Gongora lost all contact with his father, Sergio Gongora, and his uncle, Ramiro. Both men were traveling from Nogales, Mexico, to their ranch near Caborca, Mexico, when they went missing. What we know is that the ranch house was burned and that they were taken away. There are no indications that they are dead or burned inside the house. Sergio is a doctor. Ramiro is a cattle rancher. The brothers have been missing for more than 14 days, and according to his family, Mexican authorities have been tight-lipped about new info. And this hasn't been the only case. Just this past Monday in the same region, a woman was hurt on the Sonoita Coborca Highway in what is being called an armed aggression. The woman was with her husband and three children driving from California. Frente al incremento en estos picos, in the face of the increase in these peaks of violence, all the police agencies are heavily involved in this. In its latest travel alert, the USD Department placed Sonora on a level 3 alert asking people to reconsider traveling there. The Consulate of Mexico in Tucson is asking people to contact authorities in case of any emergency. Just like in the United States, the number to call is 911. The consulate suggests travelers use this guide called Héroes Paisanos. It has numbers, routes, and resources. The recommendation is to always travel during the day. There are always authorities that will be able to accompany you, the National Guard on the road, municipal, and state police. The U.S. State Department is recommending anyone traveling to Sonora, Mexico to take the threat seriously. The governor of Sonora, Mexico is adding extra patrols in the state to make sure travelers are safe. On the east side, Jafet Serrato, News for Tucson. Thank you, Jafet. And if you would like to learn more about safety tips while traveling to Mexico or you'd like to access uh, more resources, just head to kvoa.com and look for that story on our homepage. A neighbor